my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. Today I want to show you yet another slippers tutorial. If you want to see all my other slippers, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today I want to show you how to crochet these Halloween booties like a little pumpkin and you can do it with a happy face or an angry face. That's totally up to you. I will show you from the beginning to the end exactly how to do this and you can do it only by following this tutorial but if you prefer to follow a written pattern I will leave a link for that below. So you can wear them like this and you can pull them down just like this and wear them like this. I prefer to wear it like this but that's totally up to you. So let's begin. First, a little about the materials I've used for the yarn. I've used this Honey Bunny from Hobi, And you can see all the info right here. This is a super bulky, so a weight 6. And this recommends a 7mm hook. I've used a 6mm hook though to make it a little bit more firm. I have done the most in orange color. You will also be needing a little bit of black. I will write down in the description how much yarn you will need. Then I have used my 6mm hook and some scissors and a tapestry needle. Other than the materials, I'm also using this sock stop a lot. You can see what it is right here. These slippers is very slippery, so I'm often adding this uh, rubber thing underneath the slippers. I will of course also leave a link for that below where you can find this. Uh, you simply just take the slipper and turn it around so you have the underneath the foot and then you just add this um, underneath and then you let it dry overnight and then you have non-slippery slippers. That's smart. I will begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then chain two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Then we create eight single crochet in this first chain. So the first chain you did, you insert the hook and single crochet. That's one. Then insert the hook again in this chain and single crochet. That's two single crochet. Continue like this until you have eight single crochet in this first stitch. So now I have eight single crochet. Now I just continue in this first stitch over here I did. I will be working in spiral, so I will not be finishing this round. I will just continue in the first stitch I did. So I will insert the hook in the first stitch. Then I will do one single crochet. Then I will insert my stitch marker. This is optional, you don't have to insert it. It's just a little bit easier. And then you will do another single crochet in the same stitch. So insert the hook in the same stitch again and single crochet. Then you find your next stitch over here. And then you'll do two single crochet in the same stitch. So just insert the hook and do a single crochet. Then insert the hook in the same stitch and single crochet. Continue all the way around with two single crochet in each stitch. And you started with eight single crochet in the round and you are doing two single crochet in every stitch. So you should end up with 16 stitches when you're all the way back at this stitch marker. And that's 16 stitches. Now I remove the stitch marker. I won't be needing this anymore. So for the next stitch, this one, I will just do one single crochet. And then in this next stitch, I will do two single crochet. So that's one. Then insert the hook in the same stitch and two. Then in the next, only one single crochet. And then in the next, two single crochet. One, 
two. And you keep doing this until you have 26 stitches in the round. So the next stitch you will do one single crochet and the next you will do two single crochet and you just keep switching between one and two single crochet until you are at 26 single crochet in the round in total. And don't worry about going uh, past this where you uh, finished before. You will just be working in spirals. So just one, two, one, two until you have 26 stitches in total. When you have 26 stitches, you will now stop increasing. So now you have the end of the slipper and you will now be working up along the foot. So you will just continue with one single crochet in every stitch. Just one single crochet and one single crochet. Just keep doing one single crochet in every stitch around and around and around in spirals until you have 19 rows in total. And you count from this one as your first, then your second, third, and so on until you have 19 rows in total. Just work one single crochet in every stitch. Until you have 19 rows. When you have 19 rows, you will now chain one. So just chain one and then you turn the work and then you work 19 single crochet the other way. So skip your turning chain, move on to the second one and insert the hook. Do a single crochet. That's one single crochet. Keep working until you have 19 single crochet. And 19. When you have 19, you chain one and then you turn. I will just do a few stitches and then I will actually stop. So just do a few stitches. I do three. Then I just pull this loop a little bit so it doesn't go up. And then I will pause for a minute with the crocheting because we will actually be working this part a lot further. But before this, we will weave the face on the slipper. I just wanted to do the first row so you can see where the top of the slipper is. If you don't, you might do the weaving on the side. Uh, you can do that, but I recommend that you do the face uh, on the top. So now you have where the foot will be, you know, the ankle. So I will weave the face right here. So now I grab the black colored yarn. and find a very big tapestry needle. And then I will just tie a little knot. And then I will fasten the yarn on the inside of the slipper. So just do a bit of weaving back here and then once back again just to make sure it's safe and then I will weave the eyes and the mouth just like you do on a pumpkin so uh, you decide how you want it to be I want my eyes to be here and then the mouth so I will just insert the hook uh, sorry, the needle, just where I want my eyes to be. So just like when you cut a pumpkin, you will just insert the needle where you want them to be. So you just push in the hook. Sorry, the needle, I don't know why I keep saying hook. And then you just do exactly like when you cut a pumpkin. When you insert the knife, you will cut right here. And then you see it's becoming an eye. So that's the first eye right here. And then you can fill it out by 
doing a lot more stitches and then the other one and then finally the mouth just like you do with the knife and a real pumpkin. When you're done cutting out your pumpkin you will now continue with the foot. So grab your crochet hook again and insert it up here and then you will continue crocheting in rows. So you just continue up here with one single crochet in every stitch all the way across all the way over here then you chain one and turn and then you crochet back and forth until it fits the length of your foot so try not <laughs> try it on a couple of times on the way and then stop crocheting when it fits the length of your foot so i did nine rows in total and this fits my foot now i will chain one and turn so chain one and turn and then I will begin my 10th row and we have 19 stitches across and we want to crochet halfway through. So this is two stitches. I will go up to about nine stitches. We just need to go about halfway through. So you can just measure it along the way. So this is about halfway through. So now I fold the slipper. You know it will be this way when we're done, but we want to do the seam on the back side. So I fold it the other way like this. And then I crochet a slip stitch through both layers. So just push in the hook through both layers. Grab the yarn, pull through pull through and then again through both layers pull through pull through and you just continue like this all the way across through both layers and when we're there you can see like this you now push this out and you closed your slipper on the back side so you have your heel down here and it is actually ready to wear right now, but I want to add an edge all the way around. So I begin making a, a, a row of single crochet all the way around. So I just chain one to get started and then I crochet one single crochet along the edge. So just push in the hook, single crochet, push in the hook single crochet just continue with one single crochet all the way around the edge when you're done with your first row along the edge you will just continue uh, in spirals so in your first stitch over here you will just continue with one single crochet and then continue with one single crochet in every stitch around and around so just one single crochet one single crochet just continue around and around in spirals until you like the height of it and i did 15 rounds up here and this measures yeah about 15 centimeters for this part for me but you can do it as high as you like it to be then I will finish it off up here and I finished on a single crochet so I just want to do a few slip stitches just to get it a little evened out. So I will do three slip stitches before I close it off. So now you can see we are down to the height of the edge. So now I will simply cut the yarn and pull this one through and then I will weave in the end. And finally, I will cut the yarn Oops. and you have your Halloween booty. And then you can wear it like this or you can fold this one down and wear it like this. I prefer to wear it like this, but you can do whatever you like. And then, of course, make another one. So that's it for me today. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. 
If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.